How does this relate to making video games? Well, this is purely noise, and you might not even aware, but it's often literally shaping the world you play. So, how does it work? Unlike pure randomness, like this, early noise produces smooth, continuous values. It does so by assigning random gradients at grid points and interpolating between their dot product with local coordinates. This makes it perfect for generating natural looking features like terrain, textures and more. It makes randomness feel organic. For example, let's take this sphere. Apply purely noise and suddenly you have a realistic looking planet. Or let's add this plane to this terrain, apply purely noise and suddenly everything seems like it's underwater. But Perlin isn't the only noise. By transforming it you can generate desert like dunes or you can use other types like whirly noise for cracked stones or turbulence noise for flame like swirls. Each noise has its own look and you can even combine them. So with that noise can be used everywhere. Anything that needs randomness but not pure randomness. And it also shows how beautiful mathematics can be when you visualize it. I hope you learned something new and follow if you're interested for more as next week I will be covering this. And as always, happy coding!